गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द टाइप ऑफ द सेट्स दे आर आर मेन फोर टाइप ऑफ द सेट्स लेट्स सी फर्स्ट टाइप ऑफ द सेट इज सिंगल टर्म सेट सेकेंड वन एम पी सेट द थर्ड वन फाइनाइट सेट द फोर्थ वन इनफाइनाइट सेट वट इज अ सिंगल टर्म सेट सिंगल टर्म सेट मीन्स अ सेट इन विच वी हैव अ सिंगल एलिमेंट एम पी सेट अ ग्रुप ऑफ द सेट्स इन वी हैव नो एलिमेंट्स दैट शुड बी टोटली नील फाइनाइट सेट फाइनाइट सेट मीन्स देर वी हैव द लिमिटेड नंबर ऑफ द एलिमेंट्स इन फाइनाइट सेट देर इन दैट सेट वी डोंट हैव द लिमिटेशन ऑफ दैट सेट्स सो दीज आर द मेन फोर टाइप ऑफ द सेट्स लेट्स लर्न इन डिटेल सिंगल टर्म सेट अ सेट कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ सिंगल एलिमेंट इज कॉल्ड अ सिंगल टर्म सेट वंस अगेन अ सेट कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ सिंगल एलिमेंट इज कॉल्ड अ सिंगल टर्म सेट इट मीन्स इफ यू हैव अ ग्रुप ऑफ सेट इन दैट देर इज ओनली वन एलिमेंट दैट इज कॉल्ड सिंगल टर्म सेट फॉर एन एग्जाम्पल सेट ए इज इक्वल टू एक्स सच दैट एक्स माइनस फाइव इज इक्वल टू जीरो दिस इज गिवेन इन द रूल मैथड वी आर गेटिंग हाउ यू हैव टू से देर इज एन ओनली वन एलिमेंट नो जस्ट सॉलिड वी हैव एक्स माइनस फाइव इज इक्वल टू जीरो एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो प्लस फाइव That means x is equal to फाइव Means we can say set A is equal to set of फाइव So you can see here we have just only one element that is फाइव in the set A. Therefore it is called single टर्म set. Got it? Now proceed for the next one. Empty set. or null set we can say empty set or null set if there is not a single element there is not a single element in the set which satisfy the given condition then it is called a null set or empty set once again if there is not a single element in the set which satisfy the given condition that it is called a null set or empty set there is a specific note for it it is represented by this way without element in curly bracket or a symbol of we have to write this symbol the name of the symbol is phi this is the symbol of null set or we can say the empty set let's take example example of null set set b is equal to in curly bracket p such that p is even prime number greater than 2 like in the previous example this is have we are having in the rule method just convert into the normally p is a even prime number even prime number and that is more than 2 if you remember we have there is only one even prime number that is 2 That means we don't have any other prime even prime number. So therefore, set B is equal to nothing. There is no element comes within this set B. So the, this is called the empty set or null set. We can also represent it set B is equal to null set. That is phi. This way we can represent the empty set in the symbolic form. Got it? so if you don't have any element that is called empty set or the null set now proceed to the third one finite set if a set is a null set or if a set is a null set or number of elements are limited and countable then 
it is called a finite cell if we have the limited element then we are able to count that element that are called finite set let's take example set c is equal to x such that x is multiple of of 5 till 15 so do we have any limitations? Yes, we have to write the multiple of 5 just till 15. So therefore set C is equal to 5, 10, 15. We cannot write more than 15. So we are able to count the element of this set C. 1, 2, 3. Just we have only 3 element in this set C means this is limited and countable also so we can say set c is a finite set the next one is infinite set if the number of elements in a set are unlimited and uncountable then the set is called finite set once again if the number of elements in a set are unlimited and uncountable unlimited and uncountable if we have the lot of the elements we are not able to count them then the set is called finite set let's take an example set D is equal to X such that X is natural number X is natural numbers. We all know the natural numbers that are unlimited. So, D is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. We don't have the limit of this natural number. So, we can say set D is a infinite set. As because the element of the set D is we have to write till infinite. So, that is called infinite set. Now N, W, I, Q, R, all these sets are infinite set. These sets are already infinite set. N is natural number, set of natural numbers. W is whole number. I is integers q rational number and r real number so these are these five sets are natural number set of whole number set of integers set of rational number and set of real number when we are getting these five so blindly we can say these sets are infinite sets. So we have one more type of the sets not included that in main four type of that set that is given equal sets. What is equal sets? If two sets, if two sets contain exactly the same element, exactly same element, then these sets are called equal sets remember if we have the two sets and the element of these two sets are exactly the same so then only we can say these sets are equal set take example set a is equal to s such that s is letters of word life and we have the another set B in that X such that X is letters of word file. Let's check whether these two are the equal sets or not. Convert that into the set A is equal to letters in the word life that is 
L I F E and set B is equal to letters in the word five. F I L E. We have the L in both. We have the I in both. We have the F in both. We have the E in both. So exactly same elements we have in these two sets. Set A as well as set B. So we can write set A is equal to set B. This way. One more thing I want to clear here. There is given exactly same element. We have the another example. Second example. A is equal to five, six, seven. Set B is equal to eight, nine, ten. Here in the first set we have one, two, three element. The number of element is equal to three. Here we have also number of element B is equal to three. So these two are the same. Is this set A and B are equal set? No, as because we have in the definition exactly the same element. So here the number of elements are same, but exactly the elements are not same. So these sets are not equal sets. So we have to write A is not is equal to B. Set A is not is equal to set B. This way. we have to decide whether the given sets are equal sets or not let's move for the exercise number 1.2 practice set number 1.2 decide which of the following sets are equal sets and justify your answer here we have the three sets set a set b and set c we are going to just find out identify whether these given sets are equal sets or not if they are not equal set or if they are equal set we have to justify our answer so we have to start the solution the first one set a is equal to that is given 3x minus 1 is equal to 2 So three x minus one is equal to two. Three x is equal to two plus one. X is equal to three upon three. We got the value of x that is one. We got it. Second, set B is equal to that is x where x x is the element of n. X is less than two. X is the element of n. That is natural number and less than two. So as because only one is the natural number, that is less than two. So therefore, set B is equal to also we have two. And in here set A we got it already one. Sorry, here we have the one. So in the set A we got one. Set B also we got one. Let's set C is equal to what? X is the element of set such that X is a natural number, but X is neither prime nor composite. As because there is only one that is. neither prime nor composite therefore we can write set c is equal to 1 so in the all the three sets we got the answer set a we got 1 set b we got 1 in the set c we got 1 so therefore we can say set a is equal to set b is equal to set C. So these all three sets are equal within itself. So in this way, if the questions is asked, we have to identify whether the given sets are equal sets or not. 
we have to solve it and after that just match it whether we are getting the same element or the not if we are getting the same element these are the equal sets and we know how we are going to write in the symbolic form if they are not equal so we can say these sets are not equal and remember we have to just see the same element in these sets not the number of element the exactly same element if we have then only it is called the equal sets i think you all got it now proceed for the homework the question number 2 and 3 is homework for you all decide whether the set a and b are equal sets give reason for your answer the same way we did in the first sum here also we have two two ele sets set a even prime number set b x such that 7x minus 1 is equal to 13 just we have to solve it and we have to convert into the form that and we are checking if we have the exact element in these two sets these are equal sets question number 3 which of the following sets are empty set here we have the three sub questions set a element of that set is a such that a is a natural number smaller than 0 b x such that x is equal is equal to 0 set c is equal to x such that y x minus 2 is equal to 0 and x is a element of natural number if we have the no element in the set so these all are called the empty set you have to solve it the next things we are going to proceed in the next video thank you